everybody. Welcome to Ride It Up Fitness. I'm Annie and I'm so glad you're here with me today to make some mango pudding. So I've been exploring more recipes for quite a bit of time, probably four or five years, but I've only started making puddings over the past few weeks. I just didn't even know they existed or how to make them or what really made them so good. So I'm going to share with you this pudding that I've been making probably every day for the past two weeks and I think you're going to love it. It's super easy and super delicious. So we have, it takes two ingredients, that's how simple it is. The first ingredient is mangoes. I have two big mangoes that I've cut off and taken the peels off and I put them in the blender to save time so you don't have to watch me peel and everything. So mangoes come in a lot of different sizes. These are two big mangoes. But if you wanted to have like the smaller ones that are more yellow, you probably use about three. Or you can use as many as you wanted to, really. It's not going to affect it too much. But two big mangoes. And then I'm going to have just add a banana to it. And that is it. It's that easy. So this sort of, if this were a smoothie recipe, we'd add some milk, almond milk, or you might add some water, or you might add some juice. But since we're making it into a pudding, we want it to be nice and thick. We're just going to blend it as is, and there's enough water in the actual ingredients, in the fruit, to just um, be able to blend and create that nice thick consistency. If you don't have fruit in the fruit temperature, you could use frozen fruit, but you want to make sure you defrost it, because if you use frozen fruit, what's going to happen is it's going to turn into a sherbet, which is really delicious too, but it won't be a pudding. So if you're looking for that pudding consistency, you definitely want to use fruit that's at room temperature. Ideally, fruit that hasn't been frozen, but either way works. So it's really easy, we just blend it. So we'll put it on low and work our way up. And it might get a little stuck, let's see if we can get this one stuck. If it gets stuck, just take a second, or if you have one of those, um, if you want to use your tamper, you could do that too. Let's try it again. There we go.